Welcome to another video review, but before I go any further, I would just like to say that depending upon the individual or where that individual lives, they will pronounce things a little differently. Like for example, somebody might say Z and somebody else might say Z. So whether you Z or Z, it doesn't matter. Today, I'm looking at two Zalman Z9 cases. Zalman sent me a couple of these cases. What I'll do is open up one here on camera and another one off camera and I'll explain the differences between them two. This is the Z9 or Z9 and the Z9 Plus. Let me open the Z9 Plus, but before I do, you can see both of these cases are pretty basic. There's no fancy, you know, case packaging designs on this. Uh, not glossy or, you know, anything like that. But it does have all the information on it that you would need if you were picking this up in store like for example a picture of the product on the box and also lots of features and specifications about the product and really what else do you need now let me get my trusty knife here and carefully open the box this one's not too big so what I'll do is I'll open it from the top and then just swing it upside down before I tip it upside down, you can see here it has your typical case packaging material, styrofoam on either side, and the case itself is in a plastic bag. Let me remove the styrofoam. bag and let's now have a closer look at the case oh and they have this protective plastic here on some of the shiny surfaces I will remove that some at the top some at the front also right here and also on both of these windows. That's good because it protects it. So here are the two cases side by side. On my right is the plain Z9. On the left is the Z9 Plus. What's the difference between the two? Well, the Z9 Plus has more bling bling. What's that bling bling? Well, it's the LED right here, which is the temperature sensor. And it also has a fan controller, which can control, I believe, up to two fans. You can see the little dial here on the front. It's on this one, the Plus, but you can see it's not over here. And also, the Plus has two little windows. You can see those over there. Well, this one does not. I'll pop this top panel off in just a second so we can have a closer look. But before I do, you can see that they have Zalman cooling innovation right here. It's kind of like a ridged pattern. I guess you could put like your camera or your USB sticks or whatever else you wanted to put right here. Kind of a resting area for that kind of stuff. Also here in the dead center at the top, beautiful place to have this if your case is on the floor the power button. Now since this is the Z9 Plus case, they have a little addition here on the left side. The temperature readout, they have a sensor inside of the case and you can pretty much put that wherever you want to. So on your hard drive, just inside of the case, on your video cards, cooler, anywhere you want it to. Also there's a little knob right here and this is to control I believe up to two fans. They as well include four USB ports, a microphone jack, headphone jack. Here's the hard drive LED. And by the way, the power LED is incorporated within the power button. And here's the reset button. But in order to reset the computer system, you need to really push this in a nice distance. And that's good because really you don't want anyone coming along and just going, ha ha, and pressing the reset button and it just resetting the computer system. I know you can press the power button and hold it down, but it's a heck of a lot easier to restart the computer system with the restart button. Now since this is a mid-sized tower case, there's not going to be a tremendous amount of external drive bays. They have three five and a quarter inch drive bays and a place to put a three and a half inch drive and this should be more than adequate you know if you're looking for a mid-sized tower case. Now in this Z or 
zad pattern that they have here at the front note that there's also ventilation so the front fan can intake cool air now let me yank the front bezel off by pulling at the bottom give it a good pull and pop oh it comes off now you can remove this entirely if you want to at the top here there is a couple of clips here for these cables to pop right off and now you can see that in fact there are four five and a quarter inch drive bays they probably include a five and a quarter inch to three and a half inch drive bay adapter i haven't looked inside of the case but they probably do uh, you can just pop these out if you want to install a drive uh, also they have dust filters on the uh, covers here for the drives and this bottom 120 millimeter blue led intake fan includes a dust filter as well you just pull on either side and it pops right off these are fantastic you can take them off and wash them every single case on the market should include this and if they don't pick up some dust filters yourself because you don't want to have dust inside of your case all intake fans should come with dust filters now you can replace this fan if you want to there's a couple of screws here you can just pull this out and you can replace it if it fails at some point or you can actually upgrade this is a 120 millimeter fan you can actually install a 140 millimeter fan here if you want to keeping in mind that this is the z9 plus case it has two clear windows also included is a 120 millimeter intake fan but no dust filter on this fan remember you can always purchase dust filters after the fact uh, also you can install another 120 millimeter fan right here at the back of the case is where the motherboard's io shield plate gets installed they include another 120 millimeter fan this one exhausts the warm air outside of the case there are also a couple of rubber grommeted holes now you could use these holes for routing cables through if you wanted to or really what they're intended for for routing water cooling tubes through they also include lots of extra ventilation as well as seven ventilated expansion slots and at the bottom is where a standard atx power supply gets installed as well they include four thumb screws two on each side panel now with the top panel removed you can see that they include one 120 millimeter exhaust fan but you can replace this one if you want to and install a 140 millimeter fan here you have the choice of installing either a 120 millimeter or a 140 millimeter fan now some of you might be going aha this is great news because i can slap a nice large radiator here at the top and you most certainly can do that if you want to now before i have a look at the inside of the case you can see that they include a number of different bags here uh, these are what looks like some kind of rubber grommets and also other screws here and i believe this is for installation of the drives uh, more things here other screws cable ties more thumb screws as well as motherboard standoffs an eight pin this is looks like a split yeah four four this is a motherboard lead and also the user's manual this mid-size tower case fits micro atx and standard atx form factor motherboards and as you can see it is black on the inside has a large hole on the motherboard tray for the coolers retention plate plenty of holes here as well to route cables through there are also punch outs here lots of them and plenty of space behind the motherboard tray to route cables keep them back there keep them out of the case keep them behind the motherboard tray great for cooling and also for appearance i mentioned before that they probably included a five and a quarter inch to three and a half inch drive bay adapter well they indeed do now you can install up to five three and a half inch drives right here and using the included screws as well as other kind of mounts that they have you can slip the drive in here quite easily and it's a semi kind of toolless design system you can see the levers here kind of on the left hand side at the bottom they include 
four rubber rests for the power supply to lodge on. They also include a place at the bottom, if your power supply is not too big, to install either a 120 millimeter or a 140 millimeter fan. At the bottom, there's four rubber feet, and these are quite large. They also include a removable dust filter, similar to the other one you just pull and it pops off. Now with the right side panel removed, you can see that they already have a fair amount of cables here routed behind the motherboard tray. Also, you can install a two and a half inch drive right here. Now you might be wondering, can you install a video card that is 11 inches in length? Well, let's see. Look at that. Yes, you can. As a matter of fact, there's 11 and a half inches right here or 290 millimeters. Now, before we have a listen here to the stock cooling, I just wanted to point out that there is indeed three LED fans. They are blue. There's one on the left side panel. There's one at the top and one at the front. Now let's have a listen. Anyone today looking for a mid-sized tower case has to be just a little bit confused because there are so many mid-sized tower cases on the market and a lot of them are really, really good. So where do you start? Start at the brand names. And Zalman is a brand name and these Z9 cases are really, really nice because they include all of the features you should be looking for in a mid-sized tower case and more. Which one to go for? Z9 Plus or the plain Z9? I would personally just go with the Z9 Plus. It's a few extra bucks, but you know, you get the couple of windows, the rheostat at the front, and also the temperature readout. Overall, these cases are great. Until next time, take care.